What were you saying about James Charles? Oh, okay, so the James yeah. Charles stuff. Man, what are the the biggest things that he's being dragged down for right now? It's for using his fame and, and money to convince straight guys to have sex with him or something like that? I guess. Well, how, how much money did he have to give you to have sex with him? <laughs> Come on, Todd. This is a touchy subject <laughs> for your sarcasm. I don't know James that well. I've only met him through like doing the videos and maybe like two other times like at Coachella and stuff like that. He was really nice. And then... Oh fuck, man! This is just such a hard thing because it's such you gotta. You, I'm walking on eggshells, man. We didn't make this podcast to talk about drama and do shit like that. We just did it to joke around, but that's why we never bring anybody up on our podcast. I know, ever. dude. But now I'm because getting these comments on my Instagram, and like for a while there, it was like annoying that everybody's like, "Date James, date James." I'm like, I did a collaboration with James, you know. Like then all the people at home, they want to comment this stuff and say like, "Oh, you should date James." And now something goes wrong with him. And now everybody's like, you need to unfollow James. I don't need to do shit. Like, just like when I collaborated with him and, you know, he said some things that were like a little flirty. And I was like, hey, man, not gay. Let's move on. Mm, and right. then he was like, okay, we'll move on. Yeah. Let's do a video. And we talked about it in the video. And that was the end of the story. So people saying that like, oh, he's using his fame and power to manipulate people to have sex with him. You just say No. And then it's over with. <laughs> What's the big deal? Why is he like having a big uh, cancel party? Yeah. I don't get it. From what I know of James Charles and how the few times I've met him, I think he'll figure this out. And I think he'll be fine. And, you know, it's, maybe it's a learning lesson for him. But well, I think he'll But the, what is crazy, what we can talk about is he lost three million. Yeah. Is, yeah, is three, three million. million. Three million, yeah. If I, I lost would, three million, I'd be negative two million. People yeah. were having viewing parties of him losing followers. Cancel me. I want to be canceled. I want to be, I want to have my episode where we put my so, social blade on the TV. <laughs> they won't cancel you, know? you because you want to be canceled. I know. <laughs> cancel me. I don't want to be dismissive of what the allegations are. It is serious stuff. Predatory but, behavior. Predatory behavior. I don't know, man. I was in that situation specifically. James did come on to me, but I, I mean, we're, we're comedians. We joke around. We joke around about our, our guy friends being good looking all the time. And it's just like, it's something I'm used to. So he did in the beginning say like, Hey, let's go to the movies or something like yeah. that. And I'm like, Hey James, I'm straight dude. Like, you know, like, yeah. I, uh, all jokes aside, like, and he was like, Okay, cool. Uh, then next week he hit me up to do a video together and talk about it. And we talked about it and it, it was fine. Like you just got to speak up for yourself. If you feel like you're in a situation where somebody is trying to manipulate you to do something, just speak up or ask one of your friends. Ask somebody that you think is smarter. Talk uh, next. Now let's address the next scandal that Jeff's been in. Recently, <laughs> he was talked to. He was talking about uh, James Charles. Oh and yeah, James Charles. Drama. Next up, I'm gonna be cutting James Charles's hair, and I'm gonna have Tati pop out of the closet. <laughs> <laughs> what did I say that was like really horrible last time that I, I didn't articulate my sentences? It wasn't properly. horrible. I think it was just not worded completely correctly. It was or something like that. I don't know. You were getting some shit, but I kind of agreed with what you were saying too. You said something about uh, you know just say just say no, but you never know if like a person. We're adults. We're used to like people hitting on us. And, and stuff like that. So it just seems normal. <laughs> that sounded so conceited. <laughs> you know, it's just so normal for people to be hitting on us. Yeah. No, Go but um, uh, we need to be corrected, guys. We are not uh, trained. We don't have a PR team. I think what you were trying to say is that you always have the option to say no. But what the audience was saying was sometimes it's not that simple, Jeff. You're a very good looking man. You're very confident. If someone who has power and success comes at a younger, more insecure individual, it might be more difficult for them to say no, like you're able to, because you're you. So I think that that was a little gap, but what you were saying as a whole made a lot of sense. Yeah. They didn't understand you were talking about it from a personal perspective. They thought you were generalizing, and I think that's you know where you could clear it up a little bit. Yeah, I guess I was responding to a lot of the comments made to me personally about my own personal situation with James that I was in. And the way I, I wanted to explain the way I handled it. I just told James straight up. I was like, look, this is never going to happen. But I can see how people can be manipulated. The manipulation side of things, obviously, that's awful. That's bad. We found out from James's video that that's not the case. That's not what was happening, really. And from my perspective, I think like 
in the past if I've been hit on by a gay man, it's like, hey, you have a cute butt or you're cute or something like that. I'm flattered. But James Charles got himself uncanceled, I think. That's what's the latest thing in the makeup community drama, which is insane to keep up with whatever, you know. I'm working on my own controversies here, man. I don't have time for this. This might not be an appropriate joke to make, but you and James have a lot in common, the way you flipped your scandals around. I did mine quicker. I actually broke the world record of canceling and uncanceling. (laughs) But, I mean, you guys have so much in common. You should date. (laughs) (laughs) no i'm just kidding that's a uncalled for bad joke i'm going through a scandal right now and you want to rub it in my face scandal's over you flipped it around you just said that you just Uh, gloated about it being a a world record (laughs) world world record ending of a scandal jeff did your 